Hello, this is a virtual microscopy slide of a mucinous cyst adenoma of the ovary, and this is a benign surface epithelial type tumor of the ovary. So we're looking at three strips of the wall of this cystic tumor. Let's focus on the center piece. And here, this area that has been painted with blue ink, this is the serosal surface or the outer surface of the ovary which also happens to be the outer surface of this cyst locule. And here is the lining epithelium or the inner surface of this cyst. The mucinous cyst adenoma can be unilocular or more frequently it is multilocular. So we are looking at one of the cyst locules. And let's first have a look at the surface epithelium. And let's start with the lining epithelium. And we can see that this is a single layer of columnar cells. The nuclei are small, they are very uniform, and they are basal, so they are polarized to the basal aspect of this columnar cell. There is abundant mucin in the cytoplasm. We don't see any significant nuclear stratification or piling up on top of one another. We also don't see any significant nuclear pleomorphism. As I move along, you can see that the nuclei are all fairly uniform in size. And in terms of the architecture, in most areas, there's a single layer of these mucinous epithelial cells. There is a little bit of undulating architecture, but there is no complex branching or papillary formations or tall finger-like villous projections. The underlying stroma is fibrovascular. We have some collagenous or fibrous tissue and blood vessels. It is relatively nondescript. There is no invasion into the stroma. So mucinous cyst adenoma is a benign tumor. And among these tumors, there is a spectrum of the degree of proliferation as well as the aggressiveness of behavior, ranging from benign to malignant. There is the mucinous cyst adenoma, which is benign. Then there is the mucinous borderline tumor, which shows more complexity, papillary architecture, some degree of nuclear stratification. And there is mucinous carcinoma, which shows invasion. And of course, you can see from the names, mucinous tumor, borderline tumor, and carcinoma, that the prognosis gets worse. And also for mucinous carcinoma, those often arise on the background of mucinous cyst adenoma or borderline tumor. Let's have a quick look at the gross appearance of a mucinous tumor. And here we have an example of a mucinous cyst adenoma. There is a separate video describing the gross appearance of this, but you can see that this is a multi-loculated cystic tumor. The cyst wall is very thin and translucent. We don't see any obvious solid areas. And if you scroll down, you can also see some gross descriptions as well as annotations for microscopy. And here is the video describing in more detail the gross appearance. I would like to quickly contrast this with a mucinous carcinoma. And here is an example of a mucinous carcinoma with a lot more solid areas. And again, you can just scroll down to view more information. If you would like full access to our virtual pathology museum, you simply need to register for PathWeb. Our online pathology resource registration is free and the link is in this video description. So to summarize, this is an example of a mucinous cyst adenoma, which is a benign surface epithelial tumor of the ovary. And we can see that the cyst wall is lined by a single layer of columnar mucinous cells with basal nuclei that do not show significant stratification or pleomorphism. And there is abundant cytoplasmic mucin. There is no significant architectural atypia, such as complex papillary formations, complex glands, or finger-like villous projections, and there is no invasion into the stroma. So this is a classical appearance of a mucinous cyst adenoma of the ovary. Thank you.